In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your card animation from a simple transition into an advanced, smooth animation like those you mostly see on the App Store. Let's begin. First, let me walk you through what we are going to achieve here. Once I click on this article or let's say this card, this card's boundary should expand and fill up the available width of this page. As you can see here, I have this home page and this article page. So basically, we need to go from this position all the way to this position, okay? So this card should start scaling up, including its content. As you can see, the title on this page is a lot bigger than this title here. And we should be able to return to our home page using two different triggers. The first trigger is going to be this arrow icon. And the second one is going to be a drag trigger. So when I drag down, I can just collapse this page and return to this position okay all right so let me show you how it works the first step is to just select this card head over to the prototype tab and just connect these two pages just like this and now if i just play this flow let's see what happens if i just click on this card as you can see we have an instant transition from the home page to the article page right that's not what we want you might say okay what if we just change the animation type from instant to smart animate. Well, that's a good idea. Now let's give it a try once again and see how it changed. I'm gonna click on it. Hmm, it's still not the outcome we are looking for, right? So what should we do? Well, let's inspect our pages here. Here I have the home page, and as you can see inside, I have this card frame that includes all these elements. We have a placeholder, an overlay, the info frame, and a shadow, right? But what about here? If I just expand this articles frame, Inside, I have all these elements, but they are not grouped in any way. That's why the animation didn't work properly, because Figma cannot find a connection between these elements, okay? So what we need to do is select all these elements, like the placeholder, the shadow, the overlay, and this arrow icon, and also the info, okay, all of them, and these two icons, and just group them. But I prefer to use a frame, so I'm just going to right click here, and I'm going to click on frame selection, just like this. Before we move on, I'd like to take a moment to introduce our today's sponsor, Skillshare. I personally use Skillshare to get better at managing my creative projects. And recently, I've completed a great class called Notion for YouTube Creators, easily manage your creative projects. Organizing my YouTube channel's content was becoming increasingly difficult with so many video ideas, scripts, and schedules to keep track of. The Notion class provided me with a structured approach to organizing my content, streamlining my workflow, and improving collaboration with my team. It was packed with practical advice on creating content calendars, tracking progress, and even managing sponsorships. If you haven't heard of Skillshare, it's the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of on-demand classes led by industry experts across film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and many more. If you're not sure where to start, you can use one of their learning paths. A learning path includes several hand-picked classes that are meant to be taken in order. They are available in a range of experience levels from beginner to advanced and a variety of categories including design, productivity, freelancing, marketing, and many others. So this summer, if you want to take your career, skills, or side hustle to the next level, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Don't miss out. Now we need to make sure that we name it card, like what we have here. It's so important. Otherwise, it won't work. So I'm just going to name it card. And we need to make sure that the name of all the elements inside is intact. We need to have the same name on both pages. As you can see here, we have overlay, info, placeholder, etc. Here we have overlay, info, placeholder, and also we have these three additional icons that we are going to get into in a few seconds, okay? So now if I head over to prototype and I hit play, look what happens if I click on this card. You see that? We got this smooth animation. However, it's not there yet because we got some kind of linear animation. So let's go ahead and fix that. First, I'm going to select this card frame and I'm going to put it below the header because our header was not visible. And then I'm going to select this card, click on this interaction. And here I'm just going to change it to quick. Okay. But I think 600 milliseconds is too quick. So I'm just going to increase it to 
800 milliseconds. So I'm going to check it out once again. There we go. So we've got our bouncy effect now, but how can we return to the home page? So now I'm going to select this icon, connect it to the home page, and the trigger is going to be on click, smart animate, quick, everything should be the same. Great. Let's give it a try once again. Okay. It works perfectly. And also, if you remember, we need to have a drag trigger as well. So I can collapse this page by just dragging down. How can we do that? Well, it's quite simple. We just need to select this card frame, connect it to our home page. And this time we need to change the trigger from on click to on drag. And I'm going to change the speed to 800 like this. And now let's give it a try. There we go. Now I'm going to click here and drag down and look what happens. You see that? But we are not done yet. To take this animation to the next level, I'm going to animate these three icons as well, okay? This left arrow icon, this send icon, and this bookmark icon, okay? So basically, I want this arrow icon to move in from the left side and these two icons to move in from the right side, okay? So the way we can achieve that is by just selecting them, okay, these three, copy them, hit Control C or Command C, then select the card frame on the home page and just paste them inside, hit Control V or Command V, because we need to have all the elements we want to animate on both pages, okay? That's why I just pasted these elements inside this card frame as well. And now we need to make them invisible. So I'm just going to select these two on the right side, okay? And I'm going to move them to the right side, like this using the arrow keys and I'm going to select this icon and move it to the left side just like this to make them completely invisible you can just select this card frame and just check this clip content check box as well but that's not necessary here so now let's give it a try and see how it works but now if I just try to drag it down look what happens you see our icons are animated just like that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have a great day and see you next time.